When I was home for the holidays this past year, I found one of the nicest things that's ever been written about me. It's a card mailed to my parents from my AP art history teacher describing some work I'd done on a recent project. She calls me an indefatigable researcher. Kind words. But I knew them to be true since the first thing I did when I saw the card was to run to the dictionary and look up what the word indefatigable meant. Oh, Winnie. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah? Oh. This is my dog, Winnie. She's part beagle, a scent hound, which means that when we walk her, she's got her nose to the ground. In other words, she is an indefatigable researcher. And Winnie will know things about our neighborhood in Cincinnati that none of us humans ever will. Which animals walked in which places at what times of day. She doesn't share it with us, and she doesn't need that information for anything. She doesn't need to hunt. We feed her twice a day and probably give her more human food than that. She's learning this for the sheer joy of learning it. I relate to Winnie in a lot of ways. I love to learn, but I also feel the need to share what I've learned, to make creative things. And I love it when other people appreciate the things I've made. Sometimes, though, I've been so obsessed with getting a kind comment from a teacher or a friend or a crush that that's become the focus of the project. I still think kind comments are important. I've definitely made certain decisions in my life partially because I've been called a good writer or a good journalist. But lately I've been trying to be a little bit more like Winnie, to make things because I want them to exist, or for the simple joy of making them, and learning things because I know I'll enjoy learning them. Thank <laughs> you.